All right, Shalom, 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 Yasharalam, the Labakarium, the elect. This is the Raleigh GMS, Raleigh Lord Kanada Camp, back with another Lords with an edifying lesson. But before we go any further, we want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh. 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 Bahashem. 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 Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Racha Kodash. Bahashem. Racha Kodash. Bahashem. Racha Kodash. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles slash elder bishops, oh great millstone, who still got there in the highways and hedges and feed us excuse me with the 100 percent truth according to the bible and ruel and shalom also also out the achium in the four corners of the earth push, pushing the 100 percent truth according to the bible out of fear and sincerity of heart to the best of their abilities all right Kapashi, you got it my brother all right this is the book of proverbs three and five reads trust right. in the lord with all thine heart right and lean not unto thine own understanding now that word heart go back to the Hebrew word lab is meaning the mind. It ain't talking about the vessel, okay, that, that pumps blood throughout your body, like these idiots think that it's talking about. No, it's talking about your mind, man. Where your spirit lies, you know. So it says trust in the Lord with all your mind. As a matter of fact, hold on, if I may, read that one more time, Baba Kasha. All right, this is Proverbs 3 and 5 reads: Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Right. And lean not into their own understanding. That's right. So let's get the definition of the word trust, shall we? Let's see the definition of the word trust. It says reliance on the integrity, strength, ability, or surety, etc., of a person or thing. Confidence. And that's us and you have about Shemal Shah. We know this is a sure thing. Okay. This is our plan A right here, because there ain't no plan B. Outside of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, it's gonna come to naught, like uh Peter, the apostle Peter's and the other apostles said. We ought to obey Yahweh Bashim Al Shah rather than men. You know, this is a sure thing right here. So on the we have a firm reliance and confidence, which means faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Like the scripture said in Sirach 2 and 10, look at the generations of old and see. All those that fear the Lord, put their trust in the Lord, and called upon the names of Yahweh by Shem Shah, the Lord will always protect them and deliver them out of all their troubles, man. All their situations, major, major, minor, and major. Mm -hmm. You got and it, my all, brother. All right. Verse 6 reads, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Right. In all thy ways acknowledge. Which, well, another word for acknowledge is confess. In all the ways, confess that yeah, yeah, that Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is the one true living power. We fear the Lord, we trust in the Lord, and we obey the Lord to the best of our abilities, man. To hell with everybody else, think the unbelievers and they say as the scoffing scorners. We don't care what they think, we care about how the Lord looks at us. Now right. I got that picture in the NLT right fast. If I may. This is uh, Proverbs 3, verse 5 in the NLT, the new, the new Living Translation. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding, right? Because when you depend on your own understanding, you become more bugged out. An example of that is saying that the, 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 the Apostle Paul's letters are not authoritative. That's leading to your own understanding. Saying that the Apostle Paul, you know what I'm saying, uh, pretty much wasn't a man of the Lord. Okay, that's leaning to your own understanding. Saying that the name of the Lord, you can call the Lord whatever you want. That's leaning to your own understanding, which is leading you to a path of destruction. You see what I'm saying? And that's exactly what these false prophets teach and leaders are going to get. And there's many of the false doctrines that they pitch, that they teach, man. You can have sex on the Sabbath. You can do it in the bud. You know what I'm saying? All this damn madness, man. Uh, the Gentiles can be saved. The other nations can be saved. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, the Lord is bugging these people out, brothers. Let's be thankful to you. How about Shimei Al Shah? They got his spirit upon us to have the 100% truth according to the Bible. And for sending us the right teachers and leaders to teach us the do's and the don'ts according to the Bible. 
This is Proverbs 3, verse 5 in the NLT. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, meaning your mind. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will, not our will. Seek his will in all you, in all you do. And he will show you which path to take. And that's what happens when you fear you have a body, when you trust in the Lord, he's going to guide you to the path of uh, where you need to go, the path of difficulty, that straight and narrow gate that leads to life, man. You got it, Kapashi. That's it for me, my brother. Okay. Um, let's see. I got I got another one. This is the book of, uh, let's see. This is the book of, um, bear with me. I'm sorry. Um uh, yeah, this is the book of Proverbs 29 and 25 in the NLT. It says, fearing people is a dangerous trap. Yeah, because when you fear people, you care about how they think about you, you know, what they're going to do to you, and how they view you. See, we don't give a damn, man. We get, we care about what you have about Shemar Shah thinks about us, man. Because brothers have bosses, associates, employees, friends, women, that they, you know what I'm saying? children come past the camp and we kept teaching the word man and we wasn't ashamed and we didn't look away no we look right at him and we kept prophesying according to the bible man so we don't we don't care about what the people think about us the lord says they're gonna die anyway in second edge of the 15th chapter this is proverbs 29 and 25 in the nlt fearing people is a dangerous trap see that's why these are the false prophets teachers the leaders they teach false doctrines to to um to what's the word to soothe uh what the people think about them they care about what the uh people think about our people you know what i'm saying because they want the they want the publicity they want the notoriety they want the money they want the fame man on this side okay but that's a dangerous trap that's a dangerous game that you're playing because you're doing things that are against the scriptures man all right and the lord's going to eventually judge you it says but trusting the lord means safety so we put all our chips and stacks on Yahweh by Shimmy Hawasha. The Lord never did us wrong. The Lord always protected us. You know what I'm saying? If we we obey, the Lord always, you know, did his thing. You got it, Kazabai. Salaki. Um, this the book of this the book of Psalms, chapter 32 and 10. It says, Many sorrows shall be to the wicked. Mm. But he that trusteth in Yahweh by Shimei Shah, mercy shall compass him about. That's right. Many sorrows is going to be to the wicked. Now, I'm going to mainly focus on the two thirds in this situation because we know, of course, the wicked, according to the Bible, is these are either so called white men. And he's going to pay everything that he's did. They're going here first into captivity. But then eventually the nation of Edom is going to be exterminated. Okay, but right now I want to focus on the two thirds of our people, beginning with the false prophets, teachers, and leaders. The Lord's gonna hit you with many sorrows, man. They're gonna be painful, they're gonna be fearful, and they're gonna be judgment from you. How about Shimal Shah for you being a mocker and a scoffer, an unbeliever, and coming up against this truth, man? Read it one more time, Bobby Kasha. God, this is Psalms chapter 32 and 10. It says, Many sorrows shall be to the wicked. But he that trusteth in Yahweh by Shimei Shah, mercy shall compass him about. Right, that mercy begins with this knowledge of wisdom and understanding of these scriptures, man. That's what the mercy begins in him and the Lord increasing us spiritually, strengthening us spiritually. We get more understanding of the word. We apply in this word as we learn more, as we progress and the Lord's progressing us. That mercy begins with, with this truth, man. Because if you ain't got this truth, you ain't calling upon Yahweh by Shema Shah, you're not fearing the Lord. The Lord don't got that hedge of protection around you. The Lord's going to destroy your ass, man. That, that reminds me of that scripture, second edge of the eighth chapter in the 50th verse about uh, many great miseries shall be done to them that in the world because they walked in great pride. Two thirds of our people, they damn sure in that equation. That's why we hope that 2024 be the hopeful year that Jacob's trouble really hits the fan really comes to pass man like on a like on a large scale because they gotta go you got it my brother uh, i'm gonna get this uh i'm gonna get that one you you mentioned this uh sirat 2 and 10 it says look at the generations of old and see 
Right. Did, ever, did ever any trust in your how about Shimei was shy and was confounded? And the word confounded means to put the shame. And the answer is no. You got it. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? The answer is no. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And the word despise means to hate. And the Lord don't despise his elect that called upon his name out of fear and sincerity of heart. But those are the two thirds that know the name and I fear the name. And when they call upon the names of the Lord, when the Lord sends judgment on the ass, the Lord ain't hearing it, man. That's why the Lord says, don't pray for this people, man. You know, don't don't lift up a crowd and a prayer for them. When I send that, the, 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 those spirits created for vengeance on the asses, man. Don't do it. Don't cry. Don't pray. He pray. He praised me. He feared me first and foremost, even more. That's what the Lord wants us to do. And that's Lord's what we're going we to continue to do. That was it, my brother. I got one. This is a, oh, I'm sorry. What you about to say, brother? Nah, I, I got another. If you, if you want one? Okay. Uh, bring yours out, then I bring mine out. Come on, come on. This uh, Psalms 31 and one. It says, "In Thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Mm. Let me never be ashamed. Mm. Deliver me in Thy righteousness." Right. Never, ne never let me be ashamed, man. Never, never be confounded. Let me never be confused, man. Put the spiritual strength in me to teach you the 100 percent truth according to the bible no matter what the world says man keep that integrity in our minds man of teaching this word the right way to the best of our abilities that's why we're going to keep continue to put our confidence and faith and reliance on your how about shimmy how was shy man and apply the scriptures in our everyday lives to the best of our abilities because that's what it's all about fearing the lord you know and, and being obedient that was it, my brother. Yeah, that was it, bro. This is the book of Nahum 1 and 7 in the NLT. It says, the Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. See, the Lord ain't going to be no refuge to those who are not fearing him. The Lord is going to bring all types of hell and tribulation to the two-thirds of our people. And we hope and pray that it be that year, man, of these men, women, and children that are wicked as hell. The Lord just 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 put them through some fearful judgment, man. That they already catching now, you know. Send more, send more evils upon them, Lord. They deserve it. They gotta go. It says, uh, "The Lord is good and a strong refuge, and when trouble comes, He is close to those who trust in Him." But the low that are far away from the Lord. Meaning those that don't want the Lord and don't fear the Lord, the Lord is going to send judgment on them. But those who are the Lord's friends, so to speak, of the whole full leg, the Lord is going to protect them, man. Of the uh, And also, the Lord is going to protect the sincere aqua, too. You know, the sincere sisters, man. That was it. Any brothers have any other precepts? I'm good. All right. So hey, with that, man, hey, you know that Lord's with an edifying lesson on trusting in the Lord. Because these lessons like this got to come out more and more as we live in a time of more evil progressing, man, growing, you know. So I hope we hope this is edifying. But before we close out, we want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our heavenly father and to his only begotten son, Yahweh. 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 Bahashim. 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 Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rekha Kodash. Bahashim Rekha Kodash. Bahashim Rekha Kodash. And next up, double honors to our elder apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone. And Shalom also to all the icons pushing the 100% true according to the Bible throughout the whole planet Earth to the best of their abilities. Lord's once the next time, me and the brothers, we say Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.